There you go. Take care of yourself. Hey, there are herbs that help with stomach pain. You should brew them together and drink them. Uh, thanks. That's nice of you, Sigumi. Did your grandfather teach you about herbs, too? Yeah, he did. Also, I'm not nice. Plants are nice. <laughs> there are lots of other herbs that work for stomach pain, so I'll tell you about some time. Take care of yourself. Okay, so that was a short episode. Oh my god, I was like, what the heck? Wasn't Gemma just right here? Okay, so two. let's do Gemma's Bond episode. Let's see, what's... let's see what we got to talk with my boy Gemma. I just delivered Settle back to his family. I didn't mean it as an atonement or anything, but I plan on giving the surviving family members whatever support they need. It sounds good. Bond episode. Huh? Are you going somewhere, Gemma? I'm going to Sumeragi Tomb to pay my respects. I have a friend buried there. I'm sorry for going at a time like this. I plan to come back as soon as possible. Sumeragi Tomb? Would you mind if I tagged along? I've never been out with you before, and I like going there. I don't mind. Shall we go then? Are we gonna have some action for once? I'm, I'm low key, I wouldn't mind for some action. Gemma hasn't come back yet. I guess paying your respects isn't something you rush. Maybe I'll go get my fortune told while I'm waiting. Oh, that Pocky collaboration should still be going on. After all that chaos. Whoa. Sorry to keep you waiting. What's the matter? Is that a fortune? The fortune came with a Baki keychain I didn't have yet. You really do love this Baki. I mean, look how cute he is. Such a round and adorable face. Are those popular? <laughs> Sorry, I just can't relate to young people. Yeah, really popular. They're often featured in magazines. They're so popular, they have a collaboration with Sumeragi Tomb. Do you want to give it a try? No, I'll pass. We've been here long enough. I had a lot to share since I hadn't been here in a while. You said you were here to see a friend. Can I ask whose grave? Some friends of mine. My parents, too. My family originally had a separate grave, but we moved them to this communal tomb since we're dismantling our own. Mm. Dismantling? I don't have any siblings or children. Since the Garrison family will end with me, there's no more need for individual graves. But you could have children in the future. I heard there are a lot of people who get married after retiring from the OSF. I'm sure a lot of people do, but I don't know anything beyond fighting. Besides, I could die in battle before I get to retire, just like my friends buried here. You haven't retired yet, but you're already thinking about your life ending? Hmm. <laughs> my actual age is already past 50. What the heck? For OSF members my age to be thinking about their closing chapters. You're 50? I didn't think 50 plus was an age you'd be thinking about this kind of stuff yet. Besides, you could still fall in love. Nobody knows what could happen in the future. You're just not wrong. I don't think so. Although, I guess I can't say it's completely impossible. You don't have kids? Yeah, there's still a possibility. You never know what might happen if you try new things. You might realize you shouldn't be wasting your time acting all old. Why <laughs> act old? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I am actually old, after all. That's what I'm talking about. That right there. It's not good. I mean, you should just be more positive about this. We're children of the state. Try incorporating your inner child. <laughs> inner child? Like how? You better not suggest kick the can or spinning tops. That's no, so old school. I'm not talking about what they did in ancient times. I mean, more like trying out the latest trends. Like what, latest Bucky's? Trends? No, I'm too. Actually, this magazine that had a feature on Baki made a list of trendy new restaurants and foods. I'm kind of interested. So, do you want to go with me sometime? To be honest, I'm not all too interested. But I can see how you're doing this for me. I guess I could try it once. Great. <laughs> I'll look into it then. Thanks, Gemma. No, oh, I should be the one thanking you. I got you to look just a tad bit younger. That was the go. That was the go, guys. Not gonna lie, that was a rather interesting way, should I say, of in terms of bonding. Oh, wait, hold up. So, going back, uh, yo, this was a rather interesting Bond episode, you know? I never thought that 
chilling with guys would be like that. But what surprised me the most was his age. I didn't know he was 50. I guess I should have assumed by the way he looks. I thought maybe 30s? But 50 was a, was a little too much for your boy. Uh, anyways, Gamma, can I give you something? Alright. Uh, I don't have anything. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. I can't give anything to anyone. Alright, so we got two more Bond episodes. And I kind of want to save Hyoka for last. Not gonna deny. So... Let's finish off with Gamma. I'm sure you didn't enjoy having me around, but it is good to talk to young people. It was revitalizing. That's so negative. I like talking to you too. Right, I'll teach you about young people and you teach me how to fight. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not all that old. If I get the chance, I'll teach you some moves. Oh, please do. Please do. Alright. Um. <laughs> uh, yeah, we did that. So let's go to talk to Shiden first, and then, yeah. Uh, that kind of sounded like an order. Uh, it's important that I contact you to get a move on. <laughs> That's, that kind of sounded like an order, but it must be a big deal for you to send me a message. Then I'm on my way. We'll forget about everything that's happening and just talk. Mm hmm. About time. Told you not to make me wait. Jeez, you chill. No matter how fast I got here. So, what do you want to talk to me about? I'm looking for something. Did Captain Seto leave a package with you? Captain Seto? No, he didn't. He had said he wanted to give me something. He couldn't keep that promise. But if he left it for me somewhere, I'd like to have it. Oh, so it's like a keepsake then. That's right. He didn't give it to you. So do you have any idea where he would put something like that? Nope. Hmm. Maybe the hideout. I don't remember anything like that, though. Me neither maybe do you I. Saw it, but you just forgot. I guess, maybe. I don't even know what it is. It must be some kind of small package or box. I think. Just go check the hideout again. Hang on. You want me to look for it? I don't have time for that. I don't have time either. You can use your psychokinesis to search faster, can't you? You're the perfect man for the job. Oh, so you just want Seto's package and you're using acting me. All high and mighty. He should be more humble if he's asking a favor. But if there really is a gift for Shiden, Captain Seto would be happy if I gave it to him. Fine, I'll look, but don't pout if I can't find it. Ugh. What? I don't pout. I'm not a kid. Just get going. This kid making me do his Back. job. Did you find something? Nope. Yeah. Oh, actually, I found really? A case with your name written on it in a corner of the hideout. I don't know if it's what you're looking for. Let me see. This is a battle mask. Captain Seto left this for me. Someone's so upset with Seto. Is that a card in there with it? Yeah, looks like it. Dear Shiden, I'm sorry I couldn't put you in my platoon. This doesn't make up for it. But here's a gift. This mask contains special electrodes that will make it easier to control the direction of your electrokinesis. It's the same type as mine. Yours is specially made. I hope you like it. Aww. Sheedon, you are the hardest worker I've ever seen in the OSF. I know you'll continue to grow strong. So he's the new Seto now? So trust in your own strength. I know you'll be even better than me. I don't plan on losing, though. We'll be good rivals. I can't believe he thought so highly of me. Damn it. There was so much I wanted to learn from him. And now my boy's gone. You were good friends with Captain Seto. He was the only one in the OSF who saw something in me. He was a very special person. I only fought with him for a short time. But I know that he was an amazing man. He was calm, dependable, and kind to everyone. I want to be like him someday. You want to be like Captain Seto? You say it like anyone can do it. If someone like you could be like him, I would have been just like him a long time ago. What's wrong with you? I understand you think highly of him, but I work hard too. You don't get it, rich boy. Just working hard won't get you very far in this world. I can't believe you think you can get to his level. You have no idea what you're talking about. Fine, I won't say it anymore. You got your gift, so I'm out of here. 
Hey, wait! <sighs> what? I haven't thanked you for finding this mask yet. Well done. Is he a Sundari? This idea of a thank you? I did it for Captain Seto. Tell me if you need me again. Wait, didn't Tagato mention I that? Like it. I feel dumb now for realizing Compass, it. Rude and really mean. But he's not all bad. He's a Sundari. A male Sundari. If I'm as open-minded as Captain Seto, will I see him differently? He's a Sundari. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. Now that was... That was worth it. Thanks again for the mask. Also, I got a little heated talking about Seto. I'm not handling it well yet. I get it. I feel like you'll get mad at me for saying that, though. I understand plenty how you feel about Captain Seto. I'm glad you got the mask and letter. I don't need your sympathy, but I'll look the other way this time. So, sorry to bother you. No need to reply. Damn. That's how my DMs usually end up like this. Lamel. But we're gonna talk to Kyoka Eden. Baby girl. I think she's like 27. But watch her be like 50. You wait till. I want to talk to you. We don't have to worry about what sites we're on. So could you meet me at Masubi's? I want Ada Ada back. Can I get Ada Ada? Just, just, just. I want Ada Ada. I just want Ada Ada. Is that, is that too hard to ask? I think that's too hard to ask. I didn't expect you to contact me. I'm fine with not worrying about what sites we're on. I'll head to Masubi's in. Oh, we're we gonna see Kyoka. Thank you for coming. You look well. Oh, yeah, uh, you look well, too. Ooh, my boy. <laughs> Just talk normally. It's not like I'm your boss. I guess that's true. Okay, I will. Um, what did you want to talk about? Actually, I want to ask you about Gemma. We fought together when he was in Kyoka Platoon. We fight on different sides now, so I was wondering how he's doing. Gemma seems fine. But now that you mention it, he does look tired sometimes. That's what I was worried about. He can be too serious and off. Kyoka and Gemma? Maybe he should pick up a hobby or something to take his mind off of work. He or really you could be his hobby. Friends. He makes me kind of jealous of Gemma. It would be encouraging to have someone who cared that much about my well-being. Well, now you're making me embarrassed. You never had someone like me to hover over you? My father and brother were always busy with work. The servants were nice to me. But I didn't have someone as kind as you to take care of me. Not since my mom died. I'm not as kind as all that. It's just that my friends who fight with me in the OSF are the same as family. Even Word. when we're apart, I always wonder if everyone's alright. Also, Gemma isn't the only one I'm concerned about. I worry about you too. What? Me? Of course. Since we're both here, let me check up on you. You're not sick or anything? Uh... No. She putting the moves on me? I've been pretty busy, but I feel <laughs> nah, I'm probably now. looking too much into really? it. Well, no matter how busy you are, make sure to eat three meals a day and stay warm when you sleep so you don't catch cold. Oh, right. I got a really good charm recently. Um, where did I put Is it the Baki? No, that's fine. You don't have to worry that much. This is kind of embarrassing. Is this what it's like to have a mother hovering over you? Oh, really? That's too bad. But okay. We should talk again sometime. See you later. Why is Kyoka so kind to me? It's not like I was in her platoon or talked with her very much. True, true, true. Word, word, word. That's word. So is Kyoka. We have a... We, we having a thing? Kyoka? <laughs> Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, wrong one. I think that was it. Mm hmm hmm. Okay, let's see. Let me. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I'm glad we were able to talk. If you don't mind, we can. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, I'm really glad we were able to talk. If you don't mind, maybe we could chat over messages. I was glad to. You can send me any messages anytime. Sorry if my reply is a little late. Hey, <laughs> you really are kind, Yurito. You don't have to worry about that. But I'll be happy if you do reply. So, is she our mother figure, or is is there something deeper than that? Can we figure out by, uh, by the end of this, you know, not the stream, but like the end of the series? Like the last episode, the last stream that goes up? Huh. 
Okay, that's it. All right, I don't think there's nothing more for us to do here. Um, not that I see that I could do. Yeah, I think we're good. We're Gucci. Um, this is. Wow. <laughs> you wait till wake up. What is it, Hanabi? TV, a tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect <laughs> you can say that again. so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? No. Wataru. Kasane's family in the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. <laughs> Jeez, oh, tell me about it. Sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smile. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. Hmm. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with brain fields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. I know, right? Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others. And ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, Hyoka, huh? She's Kasane's operator. And that's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Wait, have we met her before? Okay. I feel dumb. I feel dumb. Did we not see it? I feel dumb. Oh, did we go blank black out again? What happened? Why did you stop? What? Um weren't we just talking at the high? Oh, we blacked out. We were an autopilot. What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry, it's hella trippy. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito, I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. No, you're What's all about? acting strange. Is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. What the heck? You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? Nope. No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader and we're going out on patrol. Uh, I've hmm? got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? 
If things are hairy, I'll call the higher ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? I mean, sure. Yeah. You'll get peace of mind if you do. Right. You're right. Okay, I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, he'll be looked at right away. Now that is what you call connections, my friends. Cutting edge medical treatment. Cutting edge technology. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. <laughs> I like those hand gestures. <laughs> there seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Such as. Thank you. Maybe I missed it. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. Yo, my boy was on autopilot. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait, that's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Now, let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumaragi's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. Oh, I guess. said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeraki, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In <clears throat> light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeraki. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. The OSF hospital has been added to the world map. Oh! There you go. I'm glad the diagnosis wasn't serious, but make sure you take your medicine. Of course. Yeah, I will. You saved me, Hanabi. Thank you. I have to thank your uncle myself, too. Don't worry about that. I'll tell him. Just take it easy. I look forward to working with you, Commander Yuito. Actually, let us stop being so formal. You will be more friendly with me as well, Yuito. Let us promise each other that. Okay. So, that's it. Not, not much of my DMs. Oh, baby girls. All right, let's see what else. Let's see over here. Oh, 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 bro, bro, bro. I used to be in one of these. Oh, man. Horrible times, horrible times. Oh, I used to be in one of these, too. Oh, my God. This, this, this hospital brings me a lot of memories that I really do not want to remember. All right, let's talk with you. The Suo incident was really scary, but thankfully that Suo always had took care of the others immediately. Second Lieutenant Yui told Sumeraga performed admirably, even though he lo just lost his father. Wait, you look a lot like the second lieutenant. Uh, maybe because I am? Uh, yeah, whatever. Alright, let's go and check this place out. Oh my gosh. Oh, run, 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 run! Run! Oh, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What, what happens if we go and try to exit out here? Nothing? Okay, sure, why not? Run, 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 run! Yo. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me, is everything all right? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A Wait, dud? what? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. Wait, what? People without powers are called duds? 
Oh. And you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because, well, how can I put it? You don't really have much mental ability. Oh, it's a okay. Harsh nickname. It is. But people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Synet were created with powers in mind. I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? Like you? Like... Hmm. What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Oh. Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The underground road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. Oh, uh, okay. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. Damn. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah. He was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. Dang. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi. So now we teleport there. Uh, I want to apologize. Uh, I'm sorry. It's my fault you remember what happened to her about what happened in Lukusho City. You don't need to apologize. You just answer when you're asked. It doesn't bother me, so it's fine. Wait, that's it? Okay. So we're going to go to the Ood Odysseus. But before we do that, is there anything else? No, just chats. Alright. Uh, where is it at? Uh, the old OSF. Where I was at. Apparently. The old word. Wow, we've been doing a lot of stories for this episode. Now that I think about it. Now that looks in a, like an asylum. I have a couple theories regarding like the, the patients and everything. So this is the old OSF hospital. I was very young when I stayed here, so I don't remember. Oh, so when I was it. young, there was nothing left of Lokusho. Aren't others only after human brains? Would they destroy the buildings? Good point. If this building is still being used, maybe they cleaned it up on purpose. Huh. It sounds like you have some information we aren't aware of. Right. Uh, sorry. I do in fact believe that it's still currently being used. That's why I think it's likely that Nagi was brought here. Why do you think such an old facility is still being used? Well, once you get to be in the OSF leadership, you start to learn all sorts of information. The secrets? I heard that the old hospital was being used for some type of operation several times. 
Is he hiding something? He probably Tsukumi, is. The bus with Nagi went beneath this facility, right? Yes, but be careful. There are a lot of areas I can't see through inside. This place is dangerous. I can't read this place's data either. I won't be able to give you much support. Be careful. Okay, everyone. Stay on your toes. Finally. There's so much I want to ask you. I've been dying to get some action in.